One more gap. Had to slow it down a little bit. Don't go on top of it, please. Oh. Did I get it? What? Are you serious? I got scammed. I actually got so scammed. I got so scammed. Hey guys, so I recorded this about a week ago. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, this is a map that was made by Ibarro Zero, uh, a new map ma maker in the community, I think, because I haven't seen his name before in any of the map creations that we've played on. But it's pretty unique, quite difficult, much harder than the Dribbling Challenge 2. The map coming out tomorrow, I think, is a little bit harder than this one. I'm not really sure. It depends on what makes it difficult for you. Um, I found this map a little bit easier because of uh, my ability to air dribble in these levels. But you guys will see how it goes. Let me know if you guys enjoyed, and I hope it, hope to see you guys tomorrow for the release of the new map for $2,000. Enjoy the video. All right, let's give this a try. I'm surprised that it hasn't been uh, given the attention that other dribbling challenges have, have given uh, in, in the community. Because uh, these are always fun to really practice your mechanics. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what to expect from this. It, just, it did just come out. Um, I have a new dribbling challenge that I've been working on. I don't know if this video is going to be out <laughs> when the map is out or whatever. I've got a lot, of, a lot planned, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but this one looks pretty difficult so far, like just by the way it it feels. There we go. Good. If so we can stop it, okay, that's fine. I mean, we made it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I think that this one will give people a lot of trouble. Just because it seems to be much more difficult, just off the bat even, uh, compared to the ones that are out there. Uh, the new map that I'm making is going to be super difficult though. Um, there's $2,000 on the line. And uh, I think I'm going to make it so that there's a world record and second place. And then also impossible challenge, which the impossible challenge on Dribbling, Dribbling Challenge 2, not really that impossible as we've discovered. Uh, people can complete that map in like, <laughs> what is it? Uh, Six minutes now? Six minutes and whatever? Oh my god, what is this ramp here? Okay. What the heck? Okay, that's pretty hard. Um, but yeah, people can complete that one in like six minutes now. So, obviously our, our abilities have gotten a lot better as a community. That wasn't too bad, actually. Um, oh, hit that a little bit too hard. Um, so I thought, like, this one kind of is... In a similar difficulty just because I wanted to make it more challenging. Our mechanics are so much better now. Like I feel like we can definitely strive as a community to improve our mechanics even more by doing harder challenges and practices. Um, and then it'll improve our gameplay because of it too. Just because we're pushing ourselves. Uh oh. This is kind of cool though. These uh, these assets in the middle. I don't know if he made them himself. Ibarra. But I've never seen him in the map making community before so... Props to him. I don't know if I can get this again. Yeah, I can. There we go. Oh. Hello, person. <laughs> I can get this back on my head. I don't remember how many times I've died, but... It hasn't been too bad so far. Oh, what is this? Uh. Oh. Okay. Um. What is this wall here? This, this seems annoying. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm not really sure to deal with that. We're not doing too bad though. Level 7. Uh, he said there's 20 levels in the description, so we're about one third of the way there. I think the, the idea for this, and for my map as well, is just going to be slow and steady and controlled. If you try to be too fast, you're going to end up dying. Take your time with it. Get like settled in a, in a, pos a position where you can t control the ball. Um, then you're gonna, you can take these tight turns. Because obviously, like if you try to air dribble this too fast, you're just going to fly over that curve. And I'm thinking maybe if I turn left at the very end probably get this a little more oh i fell off the ramp my double jump actually died but like i said not too bad so far i'll take level seven with like three minutes I'll, almost four now but um yeah let's let's take our time here see if i can focus on this curve oh see you keep hitting it if i don't go high enough i need to air dribble a little bit higher if this is level seven i'm a little bit worried to see what what's gonna come up next um, oh, oh, see, it ate my jump again. 
I wanted to double pop and then and then air drill back out, but the corner if you lose your wheel there, you don't get your jump, you just fall off. You have to have all all four wheels contacting the ground there. Alright. Good. Super extra high jump this time. Oh, almost. That's nearly it. So like I want to do that little twist with my back and hit it hit it with the, the butt of my car. I think that's the key. There we go. Good control. I lost it a little bit there, so I had to double hop to to get some pace. Might be it. Oh no. See like just that's that's really difficult, this little box here. Um I I wanted to make sure that my map is doable since it's a uh, continuous and uh, Im on, like impossibles on the line. Um so every level is very, very doable. I think uh there aren't many that are like this strenuous, but it's just the I was more of an endur endurance thing than than a challenge individually on each level. There we go. Finished level seven finally. Let's keep this up. Um, I think my camera really helps with these these challenges. That's why I'm like pretty comfortable with dribbling, just because the the camera does lock to my car. Oh, I tried to do some little fancy thing there. I wasn't gonna make it if I don't do that. Um, like the camera's pretty locked to my car, so I'm pretty comfortable with the little micro actions I move, I do to keep my car balanced. Like that, just to keep the ball close. Alright, so I feel like level 7 was a lot harder than this level. But we're not done here yet. My map has a lot of these curves like this, so not too bad for me. I'm kind of used to it. Did I get level 9? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm just going to probably... I know I don't, I don't need to reset here. This is all good. There we go. So far so good. Definitely give it a try if you haven't uh, if you haven't yet. It just came out two days ago at the time of this recording. Uh, my plan is probably to put this out right before my map comes out though. So you might <laughs> you might be hearing a past me speaking here. Oh, one more I think. Nice. So that one wasn't too bad. A little little hill up and down here. Ooh, the slow dribbles. Gotta be comfortable with these uh, angled hill dribbles here. Which my map has some as well. Let's get the ball forward. Balance it a little bit. Oh, I lost it. This is not good. That's gonna be death. I'm not gonna even try to like catch that again. <laughs> there we go. Good control. This is just like two or three hills. It's not too bad. Oh no, it is quite steep though. I think this is steeper than the hills I have. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, can I air dribble this? Oh, this is weird. Uh, no. Close. Wait, there's a gap there? Okay, there's a gap on that, that ramp. Oh my god. I actually kind of skipped that without knowing. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I just air dribble it all the way. No, lost it again. This map, could, this level could uh, cause me some trouble. Apparently, I didn't think it would, but it is quite a heavy, heavy ramp here. That's by the angle. There we go. Just control it a little better. I don't know what to do with this big gap here, though. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can see why this is going to get harder. That's just mean. That little gap there. This is fine. Good control. I think honestly my best strategy is to just air dribble this. Yeah. There it is. Did I get it? Yeah. That's a lot better of a strategy on that second half. I think uh, doing that, that little downwards... Uh, what's it called? Downwards gap is just not the way to go, to be honest with you. Slow and steady once again, just wins the race here. It's a weird ramp. It kind of angles on the edges. Oh, this could be bad. Yeah, I'm going to lose it there. I could tell by the uh, the way that my car was driving off the edge of the ball. You just got to let the ball do the work sometimes. Oh, what a boom. You could probably skip some of the level if you did that. I saw that the exit was right at the top of this curve. Honestly, it's just, just patience on this level. 
take my time with my my acceleration don't need to do anything too crazy let the ball do the work like i said keep doing the curve and i'm just looking for when the ball's starting to fall off and then i turn in a little bit to keep my pace here worst thing is when you have to blink and i'm trying not to but Oh, oh my God. I almost fell off that. Oh, there's a ramp there. What the heck was that? I keep thinking those little gaps there are going to be, are going to be, uh, oh, can I, can I, can I redeem myself on this? Okay. No, I tried though. It was close. Uh, it got thinner and thinner and it kind of spooked me on the last one. I didn't think it was going to do it again. There he is. This is a tight little turn. It's to be kind of perfect with this, so you're going to mess up. Oh, okay. So far, so good. Just stay balanced with the ball, the ball on the car here. One more gap. Had to slow it down a little bit. Don't go on top of it, please. Oh, did I get it? What? Are you serious? I got scammed. I actually got so scammed. I got so scammed. <gasps> what the heck? Oh no, I got so scammed. Bro, I like went through, it went through into the little gate. Oh, fair is fair, I guess. That was annoying. I definitely should have uh, should have had that one. I had the recovery into the gate and everything, but it just like didn't seem to didn't seem to care. The trigger's probably at the front of the gate. Let's be really careful with the landing here. That's all I gotta do. I see the end here. Be careful not to hit it too hard or go too far forward. I I boosted a little bit too much at the end there. There we go. Like I said, slow and steady wins the race. If you go too fast, you're just going to cause more troubles for yourself. There's a control. This could be really bad to recover this. Yeah, I knew it. The way that I jumped off with the ball, the ball moved over to the side too much and there was no way to recover it at that point. Not with like the small gap you have to work with anyway. All about control. That is not controlled. That was a really bad touch. I probably could have let it come down lower. Get the ball to move move with me. Oh, what the heck? That was strange. Oh, 12 minutes on level 12. Look at that. Minute per level. So 20 minute, 20 minute completion time, maybe. Ah, oh, damn. I mean, we are, we are on level 12, so we've actually taken a little bit longer. We have to complete this one at 12 minutes for it to be a level, a level per minute. But you know, who's really, uh, who's really counting here? Uh, I couldn't get the air dribble properly. Yeah, but give this self, give this a try for yourself. Uh, I can imagine it's going to be causing a lot of trouble for a lot of people, uh, especially with this tight of a turn. You gotta be like perfectly placed with these. I had to turn my car a little bit there just to Get the ball balanced. There's no way I'm recovering that. I have had it and I've kind of flubbed it there. A little bit behind schedule on this minute per level thing, but uh, the level should be getting harder. So so I don't expect that to be uh, uh, <laughs> something to come true anyway. Oh no. Yeah, there's no way. You can kind of get a feel like once you like dribble for this long like i've played this game for 9,000 hours um you get a feel for when something's gonna just go wrong and in a real game of rocket league obviously you'll, you'll just like adapt and change something but like in this game you only have one option which is to dribble on this tiny little path so you gotta you gotta just do what you gotta do <laughs> if you mess up you're done because you can't just adapt and like improvise on this there's only one option 
but honestly this level's probably caused me the most trouble so far but I'm still feeling pretty comfortable with what I need to do I got my game plan just like that what is this air dribble what is this air dribble <gasps> oh my god I could have done that somehow if I was gainer or something <laughs> I don't know I wonder how uh, protected this this uh, map is from like skipping levels. I know in mine I'm gonna have to like since there's money on the line I'm gonna have to be like really careful and place all the triggers and everything. That'd be like one of the last things I do. Ah, oh, that's not a good air dribble. Got to make sure I can still get the the car to land properly. There we go. Ah, oh, damn. Better focus on that one. I'm gonna just stay quiet for this run, see if I can get it. No, I lost on my bum. <laughs> oh, I tried. It's close. Hit that one a little bit too hard on my uh, on my bum again. This is kind of once you do that, you're just gonna lose the ball. Not getting the best starts on this turn here. I get the ball on a straightaway before I jump like that. Ah, I fell off the the curve. Yeah, we're not in the tw we're not in the minute per level zone anymore. But the key is to not get frustrated or not not get uh, hasty. You want to stay with the game plan of keeping controlled because the second you try to like rush things and you, you start just throwing yourself at it, that's when things are going to go downhill. Ah, oh, man. I hate that there's three of those two. I, I was so close that one time. I would have been on the next level. Like, I would have been so good. But this is definitely causing me the most trouble. Own steady. I keep that mindset. I keep changing it to go a little bit faster, but if I just take my time with these turns. Yeah, see, there you go. A little boost adjustment at the end. Good. One more. I can't blink. No, it was a little bit further than I expected. I couldn't remember exactly how far it was. But you can see how much better it was once I like just slowed myself down. Took control of the ball, got a good position to jump off, and then... Here we go. I'm going too fast. Ah, stupid me. There we go. I can only touch it once to be able to keep this going. Ah, if I if I touched it one more time, I would have lost it. I can tell for sure just by the way that the ball was moving, how far it was going. I was not gonna get it. Good landing, good landing. I think it's it's important on this one not to go too fast. No, that's why. Okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. It's all part of the journey. This level. I really didn't like the setup, but I got it going anyway. It's close. Oh, no, my back wheels, dude. I think I've spent almost the same amount of time on this level than I have on the, all the other ones. So that's a little embarrassing, but... 
You know, some things are just the bane of your existence. This is it for me right now. No. Oh, there's no way. I tried though. I tried. You gotta go for it sometimes. The one a world re world record run probably would. I'll probably just reset. Just gonna bring it back in middle here. I can't touch it again. No, and it's not in the middle of the, the track. Once again, I can tell when the last touch is gonna go out of my reach. So I have to like work with what I've got. And then once I realized it was too far, there was no coming back. Point of no return. That was good. It's so always just keep the ball in the center. Ah, ah I should have just tried to air dribble that to the end. <laughs> To the end and i'm i think what's irritating me the most is how close i was with that one where i flicked it back and it went above the the gate i gotta stop thinking about that get back center there we go No, dude. Yeah, we've been on this level for like nine minutes. I knew this would happen with some level though. Oh, almost. That was pretty clean though. I think maybe I try to like air dribble it to the last last bit on that second one, but I think it's probably a dumb idea. I'm using the dragon head as reference, by the way, on that level, on that one there. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. Not happening. I honestly think, like, I was looking ahead. The next level doesn't seem too bad. So, I think it's just this level causing me a lot of trouble. Nah. Yeah, this one's a pain. I can definitely get it though. There we go. Let's get back to center. Use the dragon head as reference again. Good. One more. I should just air dribble to the end, like I said. I think I could make it. Good, good landing. Good. That's the adjustment I needed at the end there to keep the ball flat. Oh no! I was almost godlike and I fucked it up. I'm so mad. Nice control here. No, dude. My, my uh, thumb is getting sweaty. I needed to wipe it off a little bit to see if that helps. There's a point at which you just, you're doing for something so long that it gets like a little numbing. And that was, this is kind of the point, I think. Oh, it's a really heavy touch. No, dude. I knew there was going to be one level that just like stuck with me for way too long and I knew it was going to happen. I prepared myself for it though, just stay composed. Good. Should have double jumped 
I lost my opportunity to do so, so I tried to like flip it around to get more height. Damn. So definitely more than half the time I've spent so far just on this one level. Um, that's no biggie. These, uh, these little gaps are definitely like what's causing the most issues. There we go. Oh my goodness, we finally did it. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh, what if I went back to that level? That'd be that'd be rough. Okay, not bad. So we just did two levels in a matter of wait, can this touch this? Okay, it can touch this. Okay, perfect. We just did two levels in a matter of like ten seconds, yet spent 12 minutes on how long of a level? Oh, now we're breezing through these levels, man. What the heck? Is there a gap? I thought it looked like there was a drop. Oh yeah, there's the drop. Yeah, look at this. We've been through three levels like in no time. What the heck? Oh snap, we're going below. Okay. Where's the drop off? Yeah, okay, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Spent like literally like 18 minutes on one level. Not really 18, but you know what I mean. Where are we going to the right here? <laughs> no problem. We're on level 17 already. We were on level 12 like literally a minute ago. What the heck? Just that one level was causing me problems. Where am I going with this? Whoa! It's quite the air dribble, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Must have me go into the mouth. Really glad that he let you go on these with the ball. They call me Gainer. Look at that. Did I get it? I can't tell. I don't want to reset in case. I couldn't remember what level we were on. I think we were on 17. Oh yeah. Oh shit, what is this? Oh, okay, that's actually not that bad at all. How the heck do you do this? What? Okay. Well, it's an awkward start, but I'll take it. I actually have a level very similar to this one in uh, my challenge. Uh, I don't think there's a gap though. Oh, the spider you can touch. Whoops. This starts really awkward. You can almost like do a little bit of a slow uh, slow down and then, okay, maybe not. What the heck? Yeah, you gotta do like that. That's so weird. If he just gave you a little more space to set up a dribble, that wouldn't be as awkward. Not bad though. Just gotta avoid these spiders. Take your take time. It's just the start. There we go. Got some good pace in the ball. When you start going 
when you start to go slow like this, this is when it gets bad. You got to really keep the ball going. There you go. Level 19. Only two levels left. Let's go. Ugh. Nope. Try again. Now we got a straightaway. Honestly, I think that like, like set resetting is pretty good for that reason. You get like a a good straight on start. Once again, slow and steady here on these turns. I was finding I was going too fast, so the second I slow down, I should be okay. Get the proper jumps and gaps. No, I missed the air dribble at the end. It's not bad though. This level is like way easier than that level 12. I think I just, I think that was the hardest level for me, obviously. Like it took me like 18 minutes. <laughs> I keep saying 18, but we were like at 18 minutes when I was getting frustrated with it. But like I said, just, you don't want to let frustration take the better of you in these. Cause the second you do, you're just going to keep basically, what did Einstein say about insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. You gotta, you gotta take a different approach and just calm yourself down. No, oh, I hit it too low. I had to pop it up a little more with my touch. Honestly, if you're good at, if you're pretty good at air dribbling, I think a lot of these challenges aren't that bad. Like the little, the little, the little control touches. like that but I'm not gonna get it though it's close though but honestly like like I said just take your time with the touches not like that I went a little bit too fast that was all from the first touch like above right here that life that lifelong lesson of the tortoise and the hare <laughs> it was always true No, dude. Close, though. Nope. Not going to get it. Almost controlled it again on that last air dribble piece, but I, I didn't get a, a heavy enough touch to get the ball high enough before I jumped. Where am I going with this? <laughs> Went a little bit too far off the mark there. Just a little bit. There we go. That last final jump one more time. Hopefully the last time. Yeah, the last time. Perfect. Unless there's any tomfoolery before this uh, this end here. But what is this eyeball? Fly, you fool. Oh my god. Like I said. You're good at air dribbles? This challenge isn't that bad. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a far air dribble. It's actually not, not as far as I thought it was. Stop saying fly, you fool. Almost. But you gotta remember that also you can't go too fast because if you do, then you'll lose the ball at the end. No, I let go of my boost a little bit too early on that one. Nope. Hit my car forward. Not going to recover that. Nope. Slowing the ball too much. If you get under the ball too much on the back end, you're not going to be able to do it fast enough. Ooh. So it looks like you have to go inside that thing. Uh, this level is going to be quite annoying. Huh! 
Come on, recover it. No. Uh, <laughs> where am I going? What is all this? Does the ball ever reset? <laughs> what the heck am I doing? It's a pretty cool map. Map model. Oh, I beat the level. Wait. There's level. Wait, he said there was 20 levels. Is this it? What the heck is going on? We just drop us in here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What? Oh! Oh, let's go. Is that how many seconds? Twenty sixty-three. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah, that's about thirty-four minutes. Let me get my calculator out really quick. Yep, yeah, 20, 2063 point whatever, that's, uh, divided by 60 is 34.3. So look at that. That was weird that it was in seconds, but I hope you guys enjoyed that level, or that map. Um, quite a difficult map. Obviously, if I didn't mess up on level 12 a million times, my time could have been cut by, like, 12 minutes. But not too bad, and nonetheless, 20, what, 2063 seconds? <laughs> Uh, give it a shot. Uh, it might be very frustrating, but I'm sure you'll learn a lot from it. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Or I guess um, you guys will see the release of the new map, the new dribbling map, uh, tomorrow, whenever this map comes out. Alright, cheers guys. Have a good one.